Evening everyone, this is Shan Shan Li. Tonight I'm going to give a presentation about the conceptual map of the EDN612. As we all know, this unit is about to understand the diverse learning uh, needs for students and develop uh, strategies to enhance learning outcome and monitor students' progress. And my fo main focus on this conceptual map is a diverse learning needs in mainstream setting. Um, start with, I want to introduce you about the concept of inclusive education. Um, from the definition and aim of it, uh, it's about to putting the right to education into action by including all learners, respecting their diverse needs, abilities and characteristics, and eliminating all forms of discrimination in the learning environment. So we want to put, um, the aim for this one is provide a safe, effective, inclusive learning environment. And then we put learners first, curriculum second. So we need to focus on different students' needs. And this one is education for all. So it can be achieved, is be protected by lots of policies and professional skills and knowledges of teacher and teacher's attitude and their strategies. So we start with um, what is inclusive education. So it's, it's mainly to promote uh, equity for everyone. And we need to understand um, students is a source of learning. And we need to know the role of schools, communities, and societies in able to work together to achieve it. And then um, it's been protected by lots of um, policies, such as uh, Disability Discrimination Act. And then it has some uh, statements as well. So it's mainly promote uh, equal um, opportunity for everyone, even students with special needs or disabilities. And then um, it can be backed up by the teacher's professional skills and knowledge. As a teacher, we need to know the policies and the school terms about how to deal with different, uh, different students' needs. And then uh, we need to know students. We need to implement uh, different teaching uh, to different students and also support the people with uh, disabilities. And we need to put effective teaching and learning skills as well, such as uh, to put some challenge for students, such as uh, the gifted uh, student. And then we need to create and maintain supportive and safe learning environment. And for this um, conceptual map, the main part is about the diverse learning needs in mainstream setting. As we can see, there are a few different types of uh, diverse needs. Um, for example, we have the culture diversity. Uh, we, ha we have the strategies and then the standards about the Aboriginal people. Uh, we also talk about the uh, student with learning difficulties and the the student with physical disabilities and other health um, issues. Uh, we talk about the student with intellectual um, disabilities and the student with ASD and ADHD and students with uh, mental, uh, medical or health needs. And then we have some parts about the gifted child and the twice exceptional child as well. So mainly we focus about how to ad identify um, the different needs. And then we have some policies about how, how the teacher will implement to support students with the special needs. Um, I use one as a example. For example, uh, for the Aboriginal children, as they are quite different, um, you know, they have different background and they have the impact of their culture, identity, and they have the linguistic background as well. Um, so as a teacher, we need to know the student and how they learn. And we want to, we, we need to see what strategies is the most effective one. For example, they like to learn through performance and they um, like learn through observation and they like to use a people or attended then task. So we need to put that one into practice to make, make sure they achieve their best performance. Um, and this one as well, we have some challenges uh, 
for, for this group. For example, the health issue, and you know, some people are discriminated about that. And how do how do we as a teacher set a role model? So pretty much all the diverse need for the for this unit, they follow the same thing. How do we identify? And then what the strategies we can implement, and then uh, whether they are effective or not. Um, but the main thing is they try to achieve the best result for each student, um, to meet their diverse need. Um, okay, I think that's all about my conceptual map. I think it's quite easy to follow. Um, they I pretty much using the same structure, like such as you know for the different group. Um. And then in able to what the aim after you're using that. Okay, thank you everyone for tonight. Do you have any questions for we can discuss further?